This video demonstrates how to use the Fixed Point Designer product to perform a range analysis on your model to derive minimum and maximum values for all the signals. This range information is then used by the Fixed Point tool to propose Fixed Point scaling. The Fixed Point tool can collect range data either by performing simulation and logging range information or by derived range analysis. This video is focused on the derived range analysis where the fixed point tool statically analyzes the range of individual computations in the model. This range information is based on the design minimum and maximum values, the signal inputs, and the semantics of each calculation in the blocks. Derived ranges are advantages over simulation logging when comprehensive simulation is too expensive or sometimes impractical. From release 14A onwards, the fixed point tool enables derived range analysis for common signal processing applications that use complex signals. In addition to MATLAB code, now simulating signals with complex data types are also supported. Here is an example of a Clark transformation model. Clark transformation is a mathematical transformation employed to simplify the analysis of three-phase circuits. Conceptually, it rotates the reference frame of three-phase systems in an effort to simplify the analysis of these circuits. One very useful application is the generation of the reference signal used for space vector modulation. Here in this case, the inverse Clark transform converts the alpha and beta voltages to balanced three-phase quantities, voltage phase A, voltage phase B, and voltage phase C. This vector is then applied as a reference signal to the space vector modulation block. In the SVM subsystem, the reference vector is then synthesized using a combination of the two adjacent active switching vectors. Here we are using minimums and maximums to select the order of the vectors. Currently, all of the signals in this model are in single precision. We are now going to convert all of these to fixed point using derived range analysis. Note that the derived range analysis works at a subsystem level based on local design specifications. This is very useful when working with hierarchical models in large scale designs. To begin with, we need to specify design minimum and maximum values of the alpha and beta voltages. Note that the design minimum and maximum values are also displayed on the signal lines. The analysis engine uses these design values specified and other constants like the DC voltage constant we have here to derive minimums and maximums for all other components in the subsystem including the vector signals. The first step in this process is to launch the fixed point tool from the analysis menu. To start derived range analysis, we select the space vector modulation subsystem and click the derive min max values for selected model button. After the analysis finishes, the fixed point tool displays the collected range information for all the components in the subsystem based on the voltage design values that were specified. Range information obtained by derived range analysis can be used by the fixed point tool to propose fixed point types for blocks in the model. You can configure the tool to propose either fraction lens or word lens. Fixed point scaling will work exactly the same as when range information is obtained from simulation logging and you could use either or both of derived min-max or simulation min-max for your proposals. You can change the default data type of all unspecified signals from floating point to fixed point and then click the Propose button in the Fixed Point Tool menu. The Fixed Point Tool displays the proposals for all components in the model. By default, the Fixed Point Tool applies all of the proposed data types. To apply a subset of the proposals, use the Accept checkbox to specify the proposals that you want to apply. In this case, we're going to accept all the proposals and click the Apply Proposed Data Types button. Now if we update our model, we see that all the signals are in fixed point. Here we use a sine wave input to the space vector modulation. The next step is to verify these proposed data types. To verify that the proposed types handle 
all possible amplitudes within the range correctly, we've added a slider gain block. We also have an output scope to view the results. You can see here that the sine waves look smooth and closely match the results from the single precision model. You can change the slider to verify these results for all amplitude values within the specified range. You can also use the design min-max diagnostic under the configuration parameter to catch errors. You can set the simulation range checking to error which will cause the simulation to stop via error when out of bounds. Although not shown here, the fixed point designer lets you compare and co-plot floating versus fixed point results. You can use this range analysis approach on every subsystem in your design and iteratively convert your large scale models to fixed point. To learn more about this and other features, visit the fixed point designer product page or the product documentation. Thank you.